Hmm. Oh. Well, this is a bit of a surprise. What's going on here? Oh, I must have dozed off for a few days. So many people here. There's so much music, it's usually so quiet here. Apart from the birds, of course. Hmm. Well, I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm an old man pine. They sometimes call me. I'm the last one still standing. Well, at least on this piece of land. And the birds tell me that there's quite a few more of us scattered around the neighborhood. You probably think I'm a really old tree. But no, not really. It's all relative, you see. Uh, the time world of a tree is a bit different than the time world of most other creatures. Well, of course, I'm much older than any of you people. Uh, in fact, me and the old fig tree over there, well, we were here before your grandparents were even born. Well, that's not particularly long for a tree, though. But most of the old, old trees, the natives, are long gone. Well, some of them had been around for hundreds of years, from the days when there were still mowers and kiwi wandering around and takahi. I miss them, the old, old trees. They were good company. Long gone. Oh, well. When the fig tree and I were just seedlings, there weren't many people around here, just a few families with their Clydesdales and bullock carts and dogs and children, of course. Lots of manukas and kanukas and such like. Pukekas all over the place. It was pretty quiet in those days. Apart from the birds, of course. The birds. Well, these days you have to live on the island over there to get an idea of what the dawn chorus was like here, way back then. So anyway, the people gradually cleared the land to make room for all the sheep and cows they brought with them and to plant their crops. Lots of trees were hacked down and dragged away. It was all right for a while. There was still quite a lot of bush and the swampland and the beach hadn't changed much. But over the years, more people arrived and more of the old, old trees were felled to make room for them. And some of them survived and some of the new people planted natives. But most of them planted exotics. Not that there's anything wrong with exotics, of course, or the big tree and I are exotics. My ancestors are from California. The figs are from Asia, I think. So anyway, yes, more and more roads were made and more and more houses were built. And before you knew it, there were cars and trucks and buses zooming around everywhere. And jeeps. And bulldozers, diggers, the lot. Soon there were planes and helicopters flying overhead. And these days, everyone seems to have power tools. They have chainsaws and hedge trimmers and pneumatic drills. Weed whackers. Leaf blowers, whatever next. So yes, it, it is a bit noisier than it used to be, no doubt about it, but I suppose we shouldn't really complain. It's still pretty green round here and we're actually pretty lucky on this piece of land. We're surrounded by quiet houses and gardens, away from the roads and sheltered from the wind. I like it here and so do the birds. So many families of birds have built their nests and raised their fledglings in these branches. Starlings sometimes and piwakawaka, finches. Wood pigeons sometimes drop in and tuis hang out in the upper branches. And falcons and gulls fly overhead and occasionally a, a more pork flies round at night. A flock of white doves have been living here for a couple of years. White doves! Yes, and from time to time a bunch of California quails wanders through. And I sometimes see wild rabbits that come up from the park, and hedgehogs, and possums, and dogs, mice, cats, children, oh, and people looking after the new fruit trees. The new fruit trees. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be sharing this beautiful space with all these amazing young fruit trees that have suddenly appeared out of nowhere as if by magic. The spring was spectacular this year with all the apple and almond and plum blossoms. 
There are more honeybees and butterflies than ever. In a hundred years, this place will look like the Garden of Eden. Right, well, that's about it for now. I think I'll have a snooze for a day or two. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Have fun. Good night. Good night.